we're going to get our sensors, we're going to put them inside a cement mixer and actually roll the cement mixer for a while and then tip them out into a bucket, then wash them down and show you that they will still be working. Well, this time we're going to get absolutely bonkers. Sophisticated device, the iLink Master, really good technology. We've got them all connected. Yeah. Going off to some really robust sensors. So you want to show a lot of things. You want to show the Master how robust it is. We want to be able to show the connections. They, they're tight, yeah. fully water rated. We're going to throw it in there. Yeah. Cement, water, tumble it around. Oh, really? Absolutely, yeah. Let's put it in and see how it goes. All right then. Okay, you're right? Okay, let's do it. Look at that. What do you that think? Is, that, is, uh, that is crazy. So we power it up? Yeah, let's power it up. Let's power it up. Okay. Okay, I can see oh, some right. LEDs we in can, there. Yeah, we can already see some LEDs. So do you think we should hold it down? Okay, get some water. How's that looking? Yeah, it's still working. That is still working. working. That is great. great. That is awesome. We've grabbed an, uh, an IOLIC master connected to our sensors. We know that uh, connection technology is really solid. It's waterproof, it's vibration proof, but we throw it into a cement mixer with cement. That for me is like insane because you know yeah we tested and we use these sensors and connection technology and the masters in the environments they're supposed to be but then you throw it in something really extreme and it mm. comes out working. That to me is really impressive. What I really like is when we, we pull it out we can still see the blinking lights behind the cement. Yes. Yeah. Then we watch this down and we go this looks like they're still brand new. Yeah. And it was still working. Yeah.